there's two point difference, a few seconds to play, and you go to the free throw line, and what happened? Yeah, wasn't able to come through for the team. Uh, yeah, it was tough. You know, you want to shoot those shots. I was happy that you know I got the foul and I had a chance to help our team go into overtime, but I couldn't get it done. So, what is your feeling then after the first free throw? Do you think then I have to make the second one, or at least try to get the rebound, so can we make two more points? Yeah, once I missed the first one, just uh, knowing there was not much time on the clock, I tried to miss the second one. I tried to shoot a little bit high and see if we can get a high rebound, but uh, yeah, it didn't work either. So um, yeah, it was just too bad. You know, it was good that we fought back, but. Uh, yeah, too bad I couldn't convert at the end, and too bad that we couldn't put a better effort earlier in the game, so it didn't come down to that. We played a very good second quarter, and then third quarter it all was gone. Yeah, I mean, we dug ourselves a hole at the beginning of the game. The lighting came out strong, had a lead on us, and then third quarter as well, uh, another lapse, and, you know, that's the stuff that hurts you. When you're playing against a good team, you have to be consistent, and... You know, we gave them those two runs, one at the beginning of the game and one at the beginning of the second half, and uh, yeah, it cost us down the stretch. Coach Castells of Leiden said that first half they had problems with Kunis and with you, in, especially in rebound, and they did approve that a lot in second half. Did you notice that? Uh, yeah, I know. It was a physical game, and, uh, you know, we're just trying to help our team where we can, and, you know, that, that means going to the boards hard and, you know, other stuff as well, but... Uh, yeah, they fought hard. I mean, they came in here and they played well and they got the win. So uh, I guess hats off to them. But I know we can do much better and we just have to keep working. So It's never a, a nice to lose, but it was a great game. People had very uh, much fun uh, watching this game. 2,600 people watched it and we got a new player. So it's all positive for the future. Yeah, we just got to keep building. And, uh, you know, it was really disappointing to lose this one, especially at home. You know, you want especially against my older team, you want to beat them as well. But uh you know, I'm still mature enough to know that it's a long season and just have to keep going. So, And think about the Super Cup we won against them, and that was a prize. Yeah, it was nice to get the first Baker, you know, the first prize of the year. And uh, we'll have a chance to play them again this year, so looking forward to that. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Coach, it's never nice to lose a game, but this was a real tough one. Yes, it was a tough game. Uh, we have been playing much better in the first half than in the second half. Uh, and we lost because uh, of the bad second half we had. In that period, uh, on both sides of the court, uh, there are certain things we cannot be happy and uh, we have to do better in the future. We showed that we can play, uh, but still uh, we didn't perform enough long to win a game. Enough, we didn't perform well enough long to win a game. Is it concentration? Is it focus? Is it the way of playing together? Is it that the people don't know each other on every level right now? I think that is a lot of things. A lot of things. That, that, that this is a mix of the things. I think that on the, in all aspects we have to be better. I think starting with physical preparation, uh, keeping a concept in offense and in defense, not making same mistakes, uh, being be more aggressive. I think that is a mix of different things. And uh, there are a lot of things to work. This is vis it's visible. It's not only one thing why we are losing a game. Still, almost 3,000 people had a very nice night because it was great basketball. I hope. I, I would prefer that we, that we won. Uh, I'm not... Uh, as I said, uh, we could defend ourselves and explain. And uh, like a month ago, now group is more complete. And I'm expecting from a glue group that uh, we are now really competitive with every team coming over here and that we are no more losing the games. Well, Sean, 17 points. Yeah. Uh, you played a good game, but then a loss of two points. How does it feel? Um, it's difficult. You know, you don't want to lose the game at all, but um, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a heartbreaker to know you're up by 10 and end up losing the game by two. It makes it a little more, more difficult to swallow. You know that you, you have a lot of work to do if, if that's the thing that happens. Was it a special case that it was against Leiden? Uh, I mean, for me, it's always exciting to play against them because, you know, I played for them for years and I, you know, I really enjoyed my time there. The, the, you know, all the way from top to bottom, they're a good, they're a good club. So, you know, you know, I was playing with Coach Tone and, you know, that was good. Um, the board was very good and the players there, of course, you know, Worthy, Mo, Casper, uh, Boss, all those guys, you know, Thomas is just people that I've played with and I know them well and, and I'm always excited to play with them and play against them, you know. Losing is never nice, but thinking about it a couple of weeks ago, the Super Cup, we won against Leiden. 
Yeah, we beat them, and you know, they, you can kind of see the difference. You know, they've they've made strides with their team, and and we've kind of taken a few steps back. We 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 weren't as um, as careful with the ball as we were during the Super Cup. We made a few more mental mistakes, and our second half was really bad. You know, our, our, especially the beginning of the second half was really bad, really really bad. So, yeah, we, we have some things to work on. So, but we see the light shining on the horizon with a new player again now, Mark Sanchez. Um, yeah, Mark's here, and um, we, we haven't gotten a lot, you know, a lot of time to uh, to get him in yet. But you know, I'm excited always for a new player. You know, someone that can add something to your team and you know bring some experience as well as uh, you know rebounding, scoring. You know, he's 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 a versatile player, and uh, I'm excited to have him have him here. Yeah. It will work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're still working. We're still working, but uh, you know, unfortunately, we lost tonight, so we have some work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah.